Hey everybody, this is Ronnie P. I'm coming at you with a with an update. This is my uh, week three update. I'm doing it about a day early because uh, we'll be out of town tomorrow. So I just thought I'd go ahead and give you guys the update uh, now because uh, we've had some progress since uh, my last video. Uh, you can see most of my tomato plants are starting to flower you can see you know here and just about every one of my tomato plants has clusters of blooms that are beginning but i've got one tomato uh, on this tomato plant here and you can see it right there already kind of popped out i noticed that tomato probably oh i guess it was about three or four days ago so it really popped up quick it was literally nothing there and then two days later had a grape sized tomato <laughs> so anyway everything seems to be doing really good you can tell the size of these right here have really shot up uh, since the last video and also my squash and zucchini plants you can just see how big that they've gotten. I mean, they're doing really good. I think I'm really impressed with this. But uh, I think we're going to have a ton of this stuff. If they all make, it's going to be a lot. A lot of veggies to, to eat and give away and all that stuff. It looks like the watermelon are doing pretty good. You can see here. Uh, let see. I'll show you which watermelon uh, right here there we go jubilee and uh they're doing pretty good at first they looked like they were kind of you know like they were kind of whitewashing a little bit but they seem to be doing okay they're growing that they look like they're happy uh, my peppers are doing good some jalapenos and pimento peppers. They seem like they're doing well. There's another tomato plant. We've got super sweet 100s. And you can see the flowers there. Anyway, basil and the parsley and the rosemary and the cilantro. You can see how big the cilantro is. It's like really bushy. bell peppers i've been trying to use some cayenne pepper with water to keep the bugs off and it seems to be doing pretty good but we've had a lot of rain uh you know about every three or four days or so the rain comes and you know and that's washing all the so you have to if you're going to use pepper you've kind of got to you got to reapply that stuff i think about every you know maybe every two or three days so yeah you can see there i got a cluster of, of uh tomatoes right in there Roma tomatoes they've got little clusters flowers growing on them and the beefsteak that's the one with the tomato in the back those are the the red beefsteak tomatoes but they're doing good haven't had anything eaten on my garden so I'm hoping that that's due to the yard enforcer uh, I did have the opportunity. I wish I w would have been able to have gotten it on video. I had a dog that was kind of walking through the backyard and the uh, yard enforcer went off and scared the dog off. So I'm hoping that that's what's happening with the deer and the squirrels maybe even. But uh, you, I don't know if you remember from the last video, the, the cucumber, like every single leaf was white. Like just super white and i thought it was gone but it looks like it's coming back so the other one over there it's almost died off there's only one leaf left so i don't know if it'll make it or not it kind of looks like that that last leaf is kind of greening up like these so might get lucky maybe it'll come back i kind of added the cucumbers kind of last minute uh, my dad's a cucumber fanatic so he wanted uh he wanted some cucumbers so i just swung by the store picked up a couple and just thought we would you know give it give it a shot also picked up a strawberry plant 
So, you know, maybe that'll work, work out too. So, but anyway, I'm just having fun with it, y'all. My first time to ever actually try to throw a garden together. And, uh, you know, it looks like everything's going to work out. But anyway, if, if any of you guys have any questions or comments or, you know, try to be nice. I am, you know, a beginner. So, but if there's anything, you know, any kind of tips or tricks or anything like that that you might know that might make this process easier or more fun or, you know, or if there's something that you want me to, to show more of, just, you know, put it in the comments. And, and remember, guys, if you're watching the videos, please subscribe and like the video. That'll help and, you know, help get more people involved. But anyway, uh, we'll talk to you later, and I will post another video uh, next week uh, for the week four update. So anyway, thanks, guys, for watching. We'll catch you next time.